The man is concerned with the behavior of buyers. Demand is the willingness of consumers and their ability to purchase a good or service. It is the underlying driver of economic growth. The quantity demanded is the amount of any product or service that buyers are willing and able to purchase at a given price. The law of demand indicates that as the price of the product in question increases, other things being equal, the quantities demanded for that good decrease. At any given price of a good, there will be a corresponding quantity demanded for that good. This is why the classic demand curve is downward sloping. In the following example, we'll use a graph to show how a consumer, whom we have called Alex, might react at the price of apples fluctuates. If the price of an apple is $4, Alex is willing to purchase two apples. If the price of apples is $2, Alex is willing to purchase six apples. If you draw a line between these two points, you get Alex's demand curve for apples. On this line, you can map different prices of apples and determine how many Alex will be willing to purchase at each given price. The market demand is the sum of all individual demands. In this next example, we'll look at what happens when there are two consumers. D and Sash, who are also consumers of apples. Here is D's demand for apples. If the price of apples is $4, D will purchase six apples. If the price of apples is $2, D will purchase eight apples. Now here is Sash's demand for apples. If the price is $4, he will buy seven apples. If the price is $2, he'll buy 11. In the simplified market with two consumers, the sum of the individual quantities demanded at these prices results in the aggregated or group market demand for apples. At the price of $4, the market demand is 13, and at a price of $2, the market demand is 19. 